Hi guys and welcome back. Um, I look like, I don't even know, I've like changed about five times. I'm still quite ill and I resorted back to a hoodie. Anyway, I have some really exciting videos coming up. So you'll notice that I'm in a different outfit. That's because this is filmed at a different time that the other videos were filmed at. That's kind of the best way to put it. Anyway, almost fell on my seat there. Yeah, ignore my like natural kind of hair. It's quite a uh, frizzy and really just crazy. Can't be tamed. Anyway, this book, <laughs> friend gave me this book and it's honestly amazing. Oh, you can kind of see my lights in it. Oops, trying like to get that out of there. It is, I don't read at all. Like, I would so much rather watch a movie than read a book. However, I have like not been able to put this down. It is amazing. If you are interested in true crime and conspiracy theories like me, I recommend this. Even if you are someone that doesn't read, just look into it. It's got the most amazing stories in it. It's got your classic kind of conspiracy theories and also ones that I've never heard about. It is, I just, I really recommend it. So I thought I would just kind of show you this because that is what my channel is kind of about. Also, look at my wee mug. Love it. So cute. I drink coffee like all the time. I'm like, I love coffee. So I got that mug for Christmas as well. And it's so amazing. I love it. And anyway, sorry, I will move on. Just wanted to show you this. Sorry if I look quite like plain and I really wanted to wear these earrings that I got. I got them months ago, but my ear has closed up. I tried to like thing it, like it's so sore. So yeah, I look quite plain. If you haven't watched any of my videos before or you don't really know what my channel is about, it's like a true crime, conspiracy theories, and really anything. I'm kind of new. Yeah, sorry, my lipstick's a bit all over the place. I don't really wear lipstick, but my lips look just not there at all today literally they looked like foundation lips <coughs> oh terrifying so yeah it's kind of like all over the place but anyway let's get into the video i hope you enjoy and stay tuned for my next couple of videos and I'm, I'm just so excited for them they are chaotic like i'm really sorry about my last video and how long it was it was just packed with so many like information that i didn't want to miss out because it could make the whole case not work so I'm really sorry, but I hope you enjoyed that anyway. Thank you for everyone that has been so supportive and been watching my videos and subscribed. So thank you so much. Who was Gemma Mikulski? She was a 29-year-old actress who played Harry Skinner, Ethel Skinner's great niece in the BBC soap EastEnders in 2000 and 2001. Gemma was murdered on March 1st, 2012. She was 29 years old. She was killed 12 years after her first appearance in EastEnders as Robbie's two-timing girlfriend, Carrie Skinner. Gemma was known to be warm-hearted and have a zest for life. At the time she was murdered, she lived with her brother, Tony McCluskey. Tony and Gemma were known to be very close. Saturday, March 3rd, Tony McCluskey, a friend, and the other brother, Danny, went to the police station to report Gemma missing. This is the real CCTV footage of them in the police station. There is an appeal at a public house where Tony happily went along to to try and find information on the whereabouts of his sister. Tony allegedly was getting threatening phone calls off an unknown number, wanting ransom for his sister. They claimed they had kidnapped Gemma. The calls were traced to Sam Dunn, age 19, who was later jailed for six months. However, things turned for the worst. A few hours after those phone calls, a black suitcase appeared in the canal near her house. They opened the suitcase up and found a headless torso. It was found to be Jenna McCluskey. During the investigation, it was revealed that Tony and Gemma had quite an abusive relationship. Tony would regularly beat up Gemma and mentally abuse her. She often wore sunglasses to cover her black eyes. People said he acted more like a controlling boyfriend than her actual brother. He always wanted to know where she was and never wanted her around guys. Tony was a skunk addict smoking around 15 to 20 joints a day. Skunk is a stronger strain of cannabis. 
It's usually grown in someone's basement or attic. Skunk contains 10 to 14 percent of THC, whereas cannabis only contains 2.4. Overall, the effects are much stronger while smoking skunk and after. As his addiction got worse, he got angrier and more short-tempered. On the night of the murder, Gemma and Tony were arguing over an overflowing bath. Tony hit her over the head at least twice before dismembering her body. He spent three hours dismembering her with a knife and meat cleaver before dragging her remains in a suitcase to a taxi, which was caught on CCTV. He then dumped it in the nearby Regent's Canal. She was sadly hacked into six pieces. Her limbs were found in plastic bags a week later. Her head was not found until six months later and it was discovered in the water. Tony was arrested on suspicion of murder in a search of their flat found drops of blood in the bathroom and kitchen, as well as a missing knife. He insisted he couldn't remember doing it and that she attacked him first. He said that she was the one who was abusive and tried to smear her reputation. However, this was not true. I want to go back to this photo. As you can see, Tony's hand has some injury to it now i'm not too sure what he said to defend himself on that but i don't think many people actually caught on so i thought it was worth going back to on september 29th he admitted to his manslaughter he was found guilty of the murder by juries with an 11 to 1 majority the window cleaner was jailed for life in order to serve a minimum of 20 years in prison. Gemma McCluskey's funeral was on the 30th of November, 2012, nine months after she was murdered. There was over a hundred people there to mourn for her and support her family. That's the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed. Follow my Instagram for more updates and also subscribe if you want to to stay in the loop of things and to see future uploads. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for my next video.